This is the news from CloudWorld 2024. The week was packed with customers sharing their stories, exciting new multi-cloud partnerships, cutting edge AI innovations, and so much more. Safra Cats kicked off CloudWorld by reinforcing our customer commitment to putting their success at the heart of everything we do. She welcomed leaders from BMP Pariba, CIA, Cloudflare, and MGM to the main stage to share how they are solving their biggest challenges and driving long-term success across their businesses with the cloud and AI. Because you, our customers, are what brings this all together for us. Many of you have been with us for years, and I hope you have seen us change over our own cloud journey. Because no longer do we just provide technology. We are now your partner in making that technology come to life. We realize in this mission that this is a shared mission space. It's too big, too hard for us to do by ourselves. And so we welcome the partnership. We are absolutely enthused that security is just as important to Oracle as it is to CIA, as well as the intelligence community. We want the best, the brightest technology, the best solutions to be able to do that. And we appreciate having a partner such as yours that help us to to perform that journey. Then Larry Ellison was joined by Matt Garman, AWS CEO, to share details of our landmark multi-cloud partnership and the new Oracle database at AWS. Giving customers choices has always been always been good for our business. Yes. And, I, and you give your customers lots and lots of choices in AWS. Uh, and I think it's gonna work out well for us and well for all, all the people here today. Yeah, what, what I've found is that when we listen to customers and we and we really listen to what they're looking for, that's when we deliver an outstanding product. And I think one of the cool things that we haven't talked about yet too, which is just this integration, is it's part of moving the, the Exadata actual hardware and, and, the, and Oracle Rack capabilities um, inside of the AWS data center, but it's not, it doesn't even stop there. We actually, and, and the teams did a great collaboration here, when they listen to customers, they want it to feel like a native AWS right. service that's running there. On the conference floor, we had an amazing space dedicated to customer success. Gary Miller and Damian Carey stopped by the Oracle TV studio to share with us some of the ways we are helping customers achieve long-term success. So uh, we created this organization about a year and a half ago. It was really Oracle doubling down on our intense focus on customer success as a company. So we pulled together all of our services organizations, Oracle University, our customer success managers, uh, advanced customers uh, support partner success as well, success assurance, and our global consulting. So we brought thousands of people together to just focus on customer success. This year we have more announcements than ever. The, the first is that we, uh, we've created, a, well, Damien has created a, a, a digital platform called Cloud Success Navigator, and it really helps customers and partners on their journey and to, to really get time to value and then get the most out of the ARC investment. I'll let Damon tell you more about that. Yes. <clears throat> uh, the next is uh, we have some new uh, services really to help customers with their whole cloud ecosystem. And there's a responsive one called uh, uh, Cloud Success Assurance. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a, a more proactive one called Cloud Success Protection. And these are, these are services actually, the unique thing is you just go into your cloud portal and switch them on. And Juan Loeza spoke with Akash Guha from PayPal and shared how to achieve a concrete strategy for developing enterprise applications by generating the data logic and application logic rather than handcrafting them. Oracle calls this generative development. And as we know, AI is the cornerstone of the innovation, but there is so much more. So we are very excited about the vector capability in 23i. Because I believe that will really help by real-time data feed for, to help us to personalize that uh, experience for our customers. So overall, 23AI, I see like uh, it will drive the applications to be more responsive, more predictive, and definitely more reliable. So we need AI-centric enterprise development infrastructure to gain the full benefits of AI. And this is something we're thinking about. We're really kind of unique in saying, hey, we have to change the way we do things to meet AI. Steve Miranda explained how AI is changing everything. The way we work, the way we do business, the way we run supply chains, serve our customers, 
and even manage employees. He sat down with Zebra Technologies, DHL Supply Chain, and Caesars Entertainment to discuss how the right partner can help you unlock the enormous potential of AI. And know that you are getting best in class AI capability that powers that application functionality. But we quickly saw the benefit of having a single platform, lots of synergies, lots of efficiencies, consistency. Utilizing all of the capabilities of the HCM tool have right. been really important for us on how do we speak to our team members the way they want to be spoken to. This is where I love the synergy between Oracle and Zebra. We have that same mission to leverage embedded AI. So Oracle has that within their product. Everything that Oracle can do to help us pick better, pack better, Better, ship better, everything we can do to optimize that, yeah. our customers are going to see the value of it. How do we get it to them sooner, faster, better? Then Clay McGurick detailed how OCI is bringing even more speed, flexibility, security, and AI to the cloud and delivering it where and how you need it. He was joined by executives from Skydance, Fujitsu, Uber, and Google Cloud on stage. Today, the cloud has an amazing vision. With Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, we are working every day to ensure that our cloud is available where you need it, and you have choice. We need to make technology invisible to our artists to be able to deliver those final films. That's the big advantage of OCI and how we use that tech to keep the story moving. OCI's full function are useful for solving social issues, while meeting customers' demand of sovereignty, including AI sovereignty. This is the second year of our partnership with OCI. And uh, basically, it's very fair to say that out of every 10 trips that Uber serves for our customers, many of you here, a few of them actually are powered by Oracle and OCI Cloud. Mike Cecilia shared details on how organizations are harnessing AI in their mission-critical applications to tackle their toughest challenges and realize their biggest opportunities. Executives from Six Flags, Marriott, and Foot Locker joined him to discuss how we are innovating across industries and applying thematic learnings to help our customers achieve great results. Energy and water, doctor's offices, emergency rooms. What do they have in common? Not a whole lot contextually, but at the platform service level, all of them can consume that platform service to serve their vertical needs and consume it as a service, not consume it as a toolkit, not consume it as something that needs to be stitched together. That allows us to think about best in class applied AI across all of our, all of our um, theaters, all of our operating vertical theaters. We chose Oracle to be our, uh, one of our key partners, uh, particularly in the buying and merchandising space, as well as we're deploying Oracle Fusion for our finance and then human capital management as well. And so if you think about one of the most important components of actually your selection for the shoe that you chose here, the campus style, uh, is all around making sure we can understand the demands in the marketplace around kind of what are the things that are on trend, what's evolving from a product selection perspective. As we're experimenting with AI, here's the biggest learning that we've got. The learning is we were coupling each use case against a model and against a technology. And what we didn't want to do is proliferate that point-to-point -point model to use case interaction. So we're now investing in a horizontal platform that will have model library, prompt libraries, a model hub, maybe experiment with vector databases, also put in small language models because we have a lot of content, yep. and then really deliver that cohesive experience. We are doing um, things that um, leverage AI uh, the guest engagement online, uh, things like chatbots, the smart monitoring of our operations. That phrase I've heard several times during the last couple of days, smart monitoring. Um, we look at not only the theme park industry, but we look at the entire um, ecosystem. Everybody, every company is looking for ways to leverage AI better. We also had exciting partner announcements Google Cloud's Amit Zavery joined Clay McGurk to detail the general availability of Oracle Database at Google Cloud. And the progress we made, I think customers are really appreciating it, right? So the customers we've been speaking to, one, they really care about multi-cloud. They'd have investments in Oracle uh, Database, Oracle applications. They want to figure out where they want to run some of those things, or they want to modernize many of, them, many of those technologies, and they want to partner with other cloud providers like us. 
so we have a lot of joint common customers. We've been working with very closely, like Uber, uh, be it uh, the work with the CME and others. Uh, they are really keen on like making sure a lot of these technologies can be available in the multi-cloud environment. They can innovate using a lot of the Gen AI capabilities. They can do analytics workloads on top of the data, which is coming from Oracle database, Oracle applications, and build the next generation applications as well. So a lot of interesting conversations, a lot of excitement there. Yeah, we're, we're hearing very similar things. It's exciting to see all of the possibilities. So between the interconnect as well as Oracle database and Google Cloud, what do you see as the most exciting possibilities for customers? What does it really enable them to do? Yeah, I think a few things, right? One, uh, given that now you have, we have Oracle's uh, database running inside Google Cloud uh, data centers, as well as we've been able to now have a common management plane, right? So the seamlessness where we used to have friction where you had to manage things differently, now one common tool makes it very easy. We also announced that we are expanding our partnership with Microsoft to offer Oracle Database at Azure to more regions worldwide and introduce new services. Exciting year. Uh, we announced this week we now have six uh, regions live, but we also have a lot more planned. We have 21 total uh, that are coming, as well as another 10 or so just DR-only regions. So it's going to have a massive global footprint, and that's directly in response to where our customers are asking us to build these services together. Um, we've also you know, brought the Exadata database service and the Autonomous database service uh, now so that customers can bring those workloads over either in a fully managed or, or you know, manage it themselves kind of model. Um, but you know, we're not stopping there. Like customers want to innovate on top of that, and so we're doing integration, for example, with our Microsoft Sentinel, which is our security platform for SIEM, um, and then most importantly, data and AI, right? Because that world, you know, data is the foundation on which AI is built, and so um, we announced integration with Microsoft Fabric which is a, uh, a wonderful platform that uh, brings all of your data sources together so that you can use, do your uh, analytics, you can use, access Power BI, you can access Copilot. Um, it's, it's something that Microsoft customers are uh, embracing and we're excited to bring the Oracle database uh, at Azure together with that. Throughout the week, we also heard a ton about AI. Shauna Adamick caught up with Dave Salvatore from NVIDIA to learn more about the world's first Zetascale cloud computing cluster, Zetascale, and how it is accelerated by the NVIDIA Blackwell platform. And so one of the things Scott announced here at the show is what's called OCI Supercluster, which is going to bring 131,000 of our next generation Blackwell GPUs into a single supercluster, which is going to deliver 2.4 zettaflops of compute, which is just an amazing amount of computational horsepower and right over here you can actually see a racked system. That is a Blackwell system, uh, similar to what will be deployed in the Oracle data centers. Back in the studio, Fritz and I sat down with our very own Miranda Nash and Cohere's Aiden Gomez to talk about how our practical and human-centered approach to embedded AI is expanding this partnership to even more customers and even more success. What are some of the benefits that customers are seeing from this partner partnership? Are there some common use, use cases? I'm going to ask you both this, but Miranda, we'll start with you. Retrieval augmented generation is a very important part of what we're delivering together. And again, a, a real appeal for working with Cohere because what that allows is our customers to get the language benefits from the model but use their own private data to interact with, get answers from the most important data in their enterprises. And Aiden, what would you, what would you add to that? Yeah, I would say the most common use case is retrieval augmented generation. I think uh, going forward, we're going to start to see agents and this idea of automation and augmentation of the workforce um, become more prominent uh, and become more of a feature. And so that's a lot of what we're doing behind the scenes right now, is developing those capabilities into the models and into the product. And Gregory Brenton from Skydance Animation stopped by to share how they are using OCI and AI to level up production. The challenge we have now is the pace. So uh, at other studios, it took a long time to get to a, a delivery schedule of two films a year. We're trying to do that faster than any studio I've been at in the past. That's a major challenge for us. On top of, creative needs to drive our whole world. Our schedules, our technology, everything is driven by our creative decisions. So following that, staying out of their way, hoping they forget about technology because they're just worried about stories and 
how the characters are evolving. For us, it's the flexibility to react to the creative changes. So using Oracle Cloud, we can scale up and scale down on our compute, our storage, our workstations based on what we need for the film. So whether that's a bad set of notes from a screening and we have to slow things down, I can shift the resources down if I need to. But in the great side, I can scale up heavily when it's time to hit the finish line. We've got a locked story and we just got to get the, de the delivery done. We can scale up to a place where before we would have limits. Uh, when you operate your own data center and you've purchased your own hardware, you're locked into the performance of what you bought and the capacity that you bought. And you're paying for it, whether you're using it or not, and you can't go beyond it. Kay Malcolm and Jenny Sy Smith from Oracle Database stopped by the studio to talk about all things Database 23 AI. They shared how this latest innovation of the Oracle Database has a massive focus on AI, helping developers build AI apps. So Oracle Database 23 AI is our latest flagship database product from Oracle. And it is our next generation converged database. It's a long-term support release, which means many of our customers are waiting for this release. Yeah. 19C was the prior one. And it has tons of features, hundreds of features, thousands of enhancements, and uh, we're really, really excited. So I want to focus on the three key themes. And there are three, so AI, developer, and mission critical. Let's start with mission critical, because mission critical obviously is what we're known for. Um, Oracle is still the most highly performant, highly available database. And the whole idea here is we want to make sure that we're preventing against unforeseen days, um, downtime. AI, and then this love letter to developers, because <laughs> that's what I think the 23 AI is, right Jenny? It is a love letter to developers. Um, there was historically, it was a bit of a challenge, Andy mentioned this in his keynote, doing development on Oracle Database. So with 23AI, we wanted to make it less complex, much easier to build cloud-native apps on the Oracle Database. With AI, we want to bring AI to the data. Mm -hmm. So the whole idea is we need to help enterprises build cloud-native, I'm sorry, build AI apps on the Oracle Database. And these applications are not just using AI, uh, Jenny mentioned all of the innovations, the ability to do the queries with JSON or unstructured data, with graph data, find relations in the database, all of that is, is possible. I mean, it's a game changer. It was such an inspirational week here in Las Vegas, and if you missed any of the action, tune in to Cloud World On Air to catch up. And to our customers and partners that traveled from all over the world to join us here in Las Vegas, thank you. You've all made this year's event the best one yet. Well, that's a wrap on Cloud World 2024. We'll see you next time.